What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this wireless mouse from Uhuru. Now this isn't the first product that they've sent me to unbox and review. Previously I did test out a few of their microphones which all seemed to work pretty good and were all priced very reasonably. Now this is perfect timing and it came just when I needed another mouse since I just unboxed and reviewed my all new XPS 8950 which you can check out that video using the link in the cards above. Now the model of this mouse is the WM07 and what's unique about this wireless mouse is it's got LEDs built into it that you can program and change up to seven different colors allowing you to match it with the decor, your mood, or even the color theme of the games that you're playing. So we'll go ahead and unbox this and review this in a minute. Okay, so again, this is the WM07 wireless mouse from Uhuru. Now it costs around $23 on Amazon, which, you know, I'll go ahead and leave a link to it in the description section below if you do want one for yourself. Now comparatively, from a price standpoint, it is pretty competitive when it comes to price versus the more expensive mice that are from more well-known companies. So let's go ahead and quickly open this up and see what we got in the box. So as you can see from the top, it is a nice looking mouse and it's your typical design when it comes to gaming mice. Uh, so it does say it's got seven colors that you can change automatically through. It's available in wired and wireless mode so it's got a 2.4 gigahertz radio in it. It can go up to 10,000 dpi which is pretty good and it is rechargeable so from what I think I saw on this is it's got a USB-C connector which is always nice. Okay, so it looks like on the back of the box, it's got a picture of the mouse itself along with some labels to describe what each of the buttons are by default. Uh, this thing has a 2.4 gigahertz wireless radio in it. It's got seven buttons that are programmable, uh, but you know, I don't typically do that. I don't typically reprogram the buttons unless it's of course one of those special mice with just a ton of buttons on it. Uh, it's got a DPI, which can be adjusted between 1200 to 10,000 DPI. Uh, you use the software to program the mice in the mouse, I mean. Uh, supports pretty much every single operating system there is under the sun. Uh, the LEDs on the mouse are RGB and it's got a built-in rechargeable lithium polymer battery. Um, there is a gaming sensor so you can switch between different sensitivities when you're playing games to make sure that you get the best response out of the mic as possible. I'd say it's a pretty nice box, uh, very simple, colorful, and it looks pretty nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this to see what it comes with. Okay, so of course you get the mouse itself. Okay, um, so it looks like the mouse is completely plastic. It's a plastic material. Uh, the buttons actually feel pretty nice and the wheel scrolls pretty nice. You know, I do wish that, and I'm not sure if it does have that function, but you can press a button to make it a smooth scroll. I don't see a way, and maybe it's a, that's controlled through the software, but it's very tactical type feel to it. Uh, so you can't just spin it and let it go, um, at least right now. Uh, you've got your power on and off button at the bottom. Uh, looks like it's got all these little points where there are LED lights. You've got your forward and back buttons, you've got your left, right, and then you've got your DPI adjustment buttons at the top as well. Okay, you also get your instruction manual and quick setup guide. So it talks about both the software, charging the mouse and the accessories, as well as how to use the mouse. So that's always nice to have. Although, you know, most of us really, we don't look at the instructions themselves. So, you know, we'll probably throw this aside. Okay, uh, you get the wireless receiver. I mean, the wireless receiver that you plug directly into the PC itself then you get this USB-C charging cable. Uh, so pretty good, uh, pretty nice feeling cable. And I think that's about it. So, you know, pretty simple packaging, comes just with the mouse itself. So nothing, no frills, no nothing. But then I guess for the price, you know, you can't expect much more. But overall, you know, it feels like a pretty sturdy mouse. So the USB-C port on the front is where you connect the cable, which kind of makes sense because, you know, you don't want it sticking out the back because it's just being intrusive when you're trying to use the mouse and it's charging at the same time. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this mouse. Now from a specs perspective, this mouse can be used as both a wireless or a wired mouse. 
Uh, it broadcasts at a 2.4 gigahertz frequency, which you can connect to your PC using this wireless dongle. It does also come with this USB-C cable, which you can use to either charge the mouse or even use the mouse while it's charging. Now again, the mouse itself does have two buttons at the top, which you can use to control the DPI settings for the mouse. Now, by default, you can use these two buttons at the top to switch between 1200, 2400, 4800, 7200, and all the way up to 10,000 DPI. What that means is this mouse can be, and should be, extremely responsive. Now what I do like about this mouse is that it does have all these LED areas on the mouse itself where you can switch between seven different colors using the software itself. Now this is actually going to be my first mouse that has LEDs on it so I'm pretty excited about the customization that I can do with it and just how it'll look when it's lit up. Now from a battery perspective, this mouse should last up to 30 hours with the lights on. It can even last up to 50 hours if you decide to turn the lights off on a single charge. Now I also like the fact that this does come with a USB-C cable, which means that it will charge extremely fast. But then it also allows you to use the mouse even when you're just charging. Now like most accessories today, this mouse should also be plug and play. So setup should be pretty easy and simple, but just plugging the dongle in and letting the mouse auto detect itself and automatically install the drivers that are necessary for this thing to work. So no messing with drivers or any kind of tough installations or CD or software. It should automatically work as soon as you plug this in. Now when it comes to the design of this mouse, this is your typical gaming mouse design with an arched body and a pointy front. And what I actually love about this mouse is that it does have the forward and back buttons on the side near the thumb, which is something that I actually look for when I'm trying to buy a mouse, even if it's just for gaming or if it's just for everyday use. That's something that I'm always looking for. So I'm glad that this mouse does have that feature. Now all of the buttons on this mouse are programmable, so it does have seven programmable buttons. However, I've never really seen the need to reprogram the buttons from their default settings. So that's probably a feature that I'll not be using. So let's go ahead and plug this in to see how well this thing works and if it is as responsive as those more expensive mice and if this should be something that I would recommend to you to buy and use when you're gaming do it using your PC or just doing everyday work. So after unboxing this, I did realize that this mouse did not come fully charged or charged at all. So this would be the first piece of hardware that I received that didn't come fully charged or at least partially charged. So what I had to do uh, once I plugged in the dongle and realized that it didn't work was I had to plug the cable into the mouse itself and plug it directly to the PC. So. For now, we're just going to test this out while it's plugged directly into the PC as a wired mouse. Um, but that'll still allow us to test out the functionality of this mouse to see how well it works. You know, we'll go ahead and work, test out the wireless feature a little bit later, but I assume it's just like any other wireless mouse where you know it's um, automatically working and detects the dongle itself. Okay, so as you'll notice, there are some LEDs that are changing colors constantly, so it's rotating from red to blue to green to orange and all kinds of different colors. On the top of the mouse, looks like it's a red color, and it too is somewhat fluctuating in different colors, but it's a little bit harder to notice, especially because I've got these bright studio lights on. The wheel itself is red, but that's I guess from the laser um, at the bottom. Uh, but you know this seems to work pretty good so far um, so it looks like you know it's pretty responsive uh, when it comes to scrolling uh, so as you see on the screen I do have my mouse scrolling and it is pretty responsive um, now when it comes to the software for this mouse so that you can change the colors or customize it it did not come with instructions or at least anything that I could see or a barcode actually there is this barcode on the back of this box, which I assume allows takes you to the link where you can download the software. But instead what I did was I went ahead and searched for the software myself. Um, so I did find go to Uhuru's home site, and it of course needs to be translated. So I did translate it, and I downloaded the mouse drivers and software from here. Uh, driver is not really needed, but software didn't auto install, of course, with just plugging the mouse in, which was to be expected. So now that I've downloaded the drivers itself and the software, I'm just going to go ahead and click the setup and we'll see where this takes us, if it actually installs the software and if I've got the right 
stuff. Okay, so click on OK. Okay, and I do have another screen, so you know, bear with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and install it. And let's launch it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the uh, control panel, the interface where you can change the different functions, the lights. So, you know, as you're changing it, it's pretty easy. It tells you that it's charging. Okay, profile two, it's got different profiles. So, you know, you can set specific profiles and color schemes. Uh, here's where you would program the buttons. The DPI settings are here, which you can also adjust in the software itself. Um, and this is your macro manager, so I guess if you want to program some macros in here, that's a, uh, an option you have as well. So light settings, okay, so you can set on wave, static, which I guess changes it to a static color, and then you can pick the color that you want. Uh, let's go ahead and try this bluish, light blue color. So as you can see, the mouse changes colors as soon as you choose the color. So pretty responsive. Um, okay, and then what's this? This is the breathing function. So it does breathe. So as you can see, it does kind of breathe a little bit. Uh, let's see what this looks like. Um, okay, so it does change colors. And even the logo changes colors, which is pretty cool. Okay, I wonder what this looks like. So it just breathes in different colors, looks like. Okay, a wave is just what we had it on previously, where it just uh, gradually changes colors in a wave motion. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Probably going to leave it on this setting just because I think it's the coolest one. Okay, flashing. Okay, so it's not really everything flashing at once. It kind of just trickles and cycles in a flashing manner, um, which is not bad. But I think I like the breathing. The w Actually, no, I think I like the wave feature the best. So I'm probably just going to leave it on this wave function uh, for a cup from a color perspective. Okay, so we'll close that software now that we've got it installed. Okay, so again, you know, you can get this mouse on Amazon and it currently is $23.69, so a pretty affordable mouse. Uh, let's go ahead and test this with a game. So currently this is a game that I've been playing. Actually, I've been playing this thing for years and it's pretty much, a, you know, a real life casino, I like to call it, because, you know, you can make and earn real money in this game, uh, but you also have to spend money. Uh, so, you know, it is pretty responsive. Um, so if I want, I can just go over here. You know, this is our crafting machine in this. Uh, I can go ahead here and I can buy ammo, supplies and things. So this thing is pretty responsive and the mouse does work very well. Uh, so I can say that this mouse, I think, is worth $23 and does have a lot of features and functionality. So obviously, you know, if I turn, it's very responsive. You know, it's, it does all kinds of things really fast. So, you know, very responsive mouse. So I'm pretty pleased with this quality. Uh, the build quality is pretty solid, even though it's all plastic. But, you know, then again, most mice are plastic anyways. Um, but very responsive, so very impressed with the cost and what you get out of that cost. So uh, I can't say that there's anything that I do not like about it. So yeah, like I mentioned, there really isn't anything that I don't like about this mouse. I guess the only one thing is, you know, downloading the software. That took a little bit of figuring out, although, you know, I didn't look on the box itself, so I'm not sure if this actually is a barcode that you can scan to take you directly to the software but but finding the software was fairly easy you just have to type in Uhuru WM70 and then you can go to the Uhuru home site and find the drivers and the software themselves not that you really need the drivers okay so final verdict what do I think about this wireless wired mouse from Uhuru 
Well, for the price at $23, this thing is definitely worth the money you pay for. Um, I think it's got great build quality. I love the LEDs. I mean, I wish they were just a little bit brighter, but you know, it's not bad at all. And I definitely think you know, just the number of LEDs on this mouse is pretty good enough. Um, the build quality is great. It's made out of plastic, but that's not a bad thing because all mice are made out of plastic anyways. Uh, it's got a lot of functionalities. It's got all the buttons that I like. The scroll wheel, I wish it had a smoother scroll wheel so that you can just let swipe it and it would just go. I, you know, I miss that option, which you know most of my mice do have. But having that missing that feature isn't a big deal breaker. I still think it works very well. I like the grippy feel to it. It's got these little grips on each side of the mice, so you know this thing won't slip out of your hand. Now overall, at the end of the day, what really matters is how well this mouse works and how responsive it is. And as you can tell from the example, it is very responsive and it does work very well. All the buttons are great. They actually have this clicky feel to them so you know when you're doing something and when something's being executed. The scroll wheel is responsive, it works well. Installation is easy. And I think overall, you know, I'd recommend this mouse if you're looking for a cheap alternative that would do just the same or if not better than any of those more well-known brands. So again, yep, this is the Uhuru WM07 mouse and it works wirelessly or wired um, and I'd highly recommend it. Anyways, as usual, I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe. Please also make sure you go ahead and ring that bell icon so you can get notified when I post new content. Until next time, see ya. Thank you.